Welcome back to Kick and Crochet. Today we're doing the November square. So this is what it looks like. Here's a finished square. I think this one's super cool. Um, and the back of it is very different. Right. You can get a copy of the chart from my blog. The link is in the video description. It's completely free. The charts are available as well as written instructions on my blog. So you can grab a copy of that. You'll also need worsted weight yarn in two different colors. This one is made of wool of the Andes in Gull and um, Claret Heather. And for the sample I'm going to make today, I'm using Paint Box Simply Erin. I don't remember the name of the colors, but it's just a yellow and a gray. You will also need a size H crochet hook, or if you're using a different size yarn, whatever crochet hook goes with it. And two stitch markers. If you don't have stitch markers, you can always use bobby pins or safety pins. Just something to keep your work from unraveling when you're not working that color. Okay, to start, I'm going to start with my A color, which in this case is going to be yellow. I'm going to do a magic ring. You can choose to start with a different ring, center ring technique, whatever you like, but I'm going to do a ring, a magic ring. And then we're going to do a chain seven. And that counts as a double crochet and a chain four. Now we'll do another double crochet in the ring. Chain one, double crochet, chain four, and another double crochet, and chain one, double crochet, chain four, double crochet, chain one. And one more time, double crochet, chain four, double crochet, chain one. All right, we can tighten our ring up here. And then we need to join to our starting chain. We'll join to what would be the top of our double crochet, so the third chain of our starting chain. Chain four. And place a stitch marker. Then we can set that aside for just a minute and get our B color. Now for this one I'm going to start with a slip knot instead of a magic ring. And then we will chain eight. Join to form a ring. And chain four. Now, before we keep going with this color, we need to connect our two starting pieces. So we're going to put our B color in through the, the A color in between these two posts. So the, the working chain of our A color should be at the top on the left side. We're going to insert our ring through here so that our working chain of our B color is on top and our ring is on the back. Now if you'd like to, you can use your stitch marker to hold that in place temporarily. You don't have to do that. Just can make it a little bit easier. Totally up to you. And now we'll put our B color back on our hook because we're going to keep working our B. And now our A color is going to need to be in the front on its next round, so we're going to put that in front so it's ready to go. And now we're going to work all of our B stitches also from the front. So we're going to reach in between in this corner and grab that ring that we made, pull it to the front. And we'll do a corner. A corner is going to be a double crochet, chain four, double crochet. The corners are always going to be that double crochet, chain four, double crochet, chain one. Now we need to do a side stitch. Oh, my stitch marker that was holding my ring came out. Oh well, I'll just take it out. Okay, now we're going to need to do a front stitch from the side, so we'll yarn over, reach between these two posts. Again, grab our gray ring and bring it to the front to work a front double crochet and chain one. Now, if you're new to interlocking crochet, this is going to be really weird. 
Um, if you're not, then it hopefully won't be too bad. Just remember, every side stitch has a chain one between the double crochets, and every corner stitch has a chain four. Each color only ever works into the top of the double crochets of its own color. So I'm gonna work or around the corner chain. Okay, so now I need another front corner. So I'll reach through here, through the yellow corner, and grab my gray ring and bring it to the front. Now I'll double crochet, chain four, and double crochet. And chain one. Now another front double crochet between these two posts. Reach through, grab that same gray ring, and pull it to the front to do our double crochet. Chain one, oops. Now another front corner. Reach through, grab our gray ring, and pull it to the front to double crochet. Chain four. Double crochet. Chain one. Another double crochet in between these two side posts in our gray ring from the front. Chain one. And our last corner here. Reach through to grab our gray ring and pull it forward. Now a double crochet. Chain four and double crochet. Chain one. Now we need to join to the top of our starting chain. I find it easiest to count backwards. So this is the top of our double crochet. This would have been our chain one. And this would be the top of our starting double crochet. And then chain four and place a stitch marker. So if you've done some of the other squares, you've seen a start just like this before with the B color stitches working from the front, like so. Now we'll get our A color back on our hook. This round is also going to be worked just from the front only. So we started in the front, and we're going to do a front corner, so we'll reach between here and grab our yellow corner, because we're only working in the yellow, and do a double crochet, chain four, double crochet, chain one. And now these two side posts, side stitches, are going to be from the front, so I'm working into the top of that double crochet. I'm not working around the post, I'm working into the top of the stitch. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, and now another front corner, reaching through and pulling to the front, double crochet, chain four, double crochet, chain one, two more front stitches for the side. And a chain one. If I don't say chain one, don't forget, there should always be a chain one in between your double crochets along the sides. And a chain four on the corners. So now another front corner. Front stitches on the side. Double crochet and a chain one and a double crochet and a chain one. Last front corner, double crochet, chain four, double crochet, chain one, and a double crochet in the side stitch. On the next round, we are going to want our B color in the front, so we'll leave that in front. 
and we'll join to our starting chain. Chain four, place a stitch marker. Now we'll get our B color back on our hook. And once again, this round, we're going to work front stitches all the way around. So I promise it's not going to be front stitches around every round forever. But for this round, we are going to do front stitches around and our A color needs to be in the front on the next round. So we'll put that in the front now. So front stitch to start us off. Then a front corner. Now front stitches along the side, there should be three side stitches, so that's one, two, three, and now another front corner. Three more side stitches from the front. Three more side stitches. And a front corner. Now to finish off our starting side, we'll do one more side, one more front stitch here on this side. Oops. My chain one, and then I'll join to my starting chain here. Chain four. And place a stitch marker. So this is the end of round 2B, it should look like this. Okay, for row 3A, uh, we gotta get our A color back on our hook. On this round, all of our side stitches are going to be worked from the front, and all of our corners will be worked from the back. And this is one of the symmetrical squares, so every side is the same. All right, we started in the front, and actually every round we're going to need to start in the front, so you're always going to want your working chain in the front, just so you know. Okay, so one more side stitch here from the front. And a back corner, so working behind. We'll do our double crochet. Oops. Chain four. Double crochet chain one. And now we need to work back from the front for the side stitches. So we'll have four side stitches on the front. So it's one, two, three, four, and then another back corner. Go back to the front, 
So we can do our four side stitches from the front. And now a back corner. Four side stitches from the front. And a back corner. Now we're going to finish our starting round with two more front stitches. We need our B color starting in the front and we'll join to our starting chain. Chain four and place a stitch marker. And we'll get our B color back on our hook. Remember that A needs to start in the front, so we'll put that in front. All right, on this round, our three middle stitches on each side will be from the front, and the stitch before the corner and the corner will be in the back. So we started in the front in the middle of this side. So we'll do one more front stitch Now a back stitch, and a back corner. So we'll reach through there and grab our gray ring and pull it to the back to do our back corner. Now we need one more back stitch to start this side. Stitch and after the corner are also from the back. And when you get that stitch, make sure there should be a yellow post in between the second stitch of your corner and that first side stitch. So don't reach through the corner to grab this stitch when you work from the back. Make sure you work on this side of that yellow post. Otherwise your pattern will end up a little wonky. Okay. So now we need three more front stitches. back stitch back corner another back stitch again I'm going to make sure I'm reaching on this side of that yellow post and grabbing the top of my double crochet to work it from the back Three front stitches, back stitch, back corner. Another back stitch. Three front stitches.
a back stitch and a back corner a back stitch and then one more front stitch to finish this side and we need to join to our starting chain chain four and place a stitch marker it's the end of round 3b we've got our first little part of our kind of diamondy shape that goes up the corner is done now we need our a color back on our hook All right, we started in the front here, and now we're going to do two back stitches. And a front corner. two backs two fronts two backs A front corner. Same thing, two back. Two front. Two back, and a front corner. Two back. Two front, two back, front corner and two backs and one front to finish this side we need our B color in front, and we'll join to our starting chain. Chain four, and place a stitch marker. And get our B color back on our hook. All 
I feel I need to start in the front on the next round. And this round, we're going to do front stitches for all the sides and back stitches for the corners. So I just did three more fronts on the side and now I'm doing a back corner. Now we'll switch back to the front. Do seven fronts. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, and then a back corner. We'll do that thing, that same thing on this side, seven front stitches and then a back corner. the back corner here. Seven front stitches. In the back corner. We'll finish off this first side with three more front stitches. And join to our starting chain. If you like making coasters, I always feel like this is about the size that makes a nice coaster when you finish this round. So you could finish it off there if you wanted the coaster set. Get our A color back on our hook. Alright, first stitch was in the front here, and we're going to go back, front, back. And here. And then from the front. A back. And now a front corner. Alright, we go back, front, back. Mm -hmm. 
two front. Back front to back. And a front corner. Back front back. Oops. Two front. Front back. In the front corner. Back, front, back. Two front stitches. I need to actually change my yarn here. And a back front back. Front corner, back front back. One more front stitch to finish this side. We need our B color in the front and we'll join to our starting chain. Chain four. And place a stitch marker. We'll get our B color on our hook. A color needs to start in the front again. And we'll work from the front. We're actually going to do front stitches all the way around for this round. So I'm going to turn my camera off because you don't probably need to watch me do front stitches all the way around. I'll get through this corner first though. I'll do front stitches. And a front corner. And then keep going in the front. This one, make sure you get this first stitch. Don't miss it here. After the corner, it's kind of buried. 
and then you just keep going. So you'll do front stitches all the way around for this whole round and then join to your starting chain. And we'll get our A color back on our hook. Do two more front stitches. One back. Front. And a front corner. Now one more front stitch. Oops. One back. Six front. One back, one front, and a front corner. Another front. One back, six front, back on the front and a front corner on the front One back, six front, One back, one front, front corner, one front, one back. And we'll finish this side by doing three more front stitches. D 
do want our B color in front and we'll join to our start chain. Chain four and place a stitch marker. Now I need B color on our hook. A color will start in the front on the next round. We're going to do a front front stitches all along the sides and back corners. So I'm going to work front all along here. And then a back corner. Then go back to the front. We'll do front stitches all on the side until we get to the next corner. So you continue like this around, front stitches until you get to the corner, then do a back corner, front stitches on the side, back corner, front stitches, back corner, front stitches, and then join to your start chain. We'll get our A color back on our hook. Okay, our first stitch was in the front, and now we need a back stitch. Three fronts. A back, and a back corner. One more back. Three fronts. back, two fronts, back, three fronts, back, and a back corner. More back. Three fronts. One back. Two front. One back. Three front. One 
back, back corner, and back. front one back two front one back Three front, one back, back corner, back three front we'll finish the side with one back and then one front We want to be color in front for the next round. We'll join to our starting chain. Chain four. And place a stitch marker. And we'll get our B color back on our hook. A color is going to start in front again. I'm going to do four front stitches. And two back stitches. And a back corner. And see here we're outlining this diamond here. So we'll do two more back stitches. Now nine front stitches across the side. Two backs, and a back corner, two back stitches. Nine 
in front. Two back. And a back corner. Two back. Nine front. Two back. And a back corner. Two back. Four more fronts to finish this row. Get our A color back on our hook. Start with front, back, front. Front, back, front. Now three backs. And a front corner. Three backs. Front, back. Now four fronts.
back front. There's a back. There's a front. And then three back stitches. And a front corner. Three back stitches. Front and then back. Four front stitches. Back and front. Three back stitches. front corner three back stitches Front and back. Four front. Back and then front. Now three back. Front corner. Three back. Front and then back. And two front to finish this side. We need our B color in front, and we'll finish joining to our turn chain. And chain four, place the stitch marker. B color on our hook. A color needs to start in front for the next round. 
Our first middle stitch was in the front. We need two more front stitches. Three back. Two front. In the back corner. Two front, three back, Oops. Five front, three back. Two front, and a back corner. Two front. Three back. Five front. Three back. Two front. The back corner. Two front, three back, five front.
three back. Two front. And a back corner. Two front. Three back. And two more front to finish this side. Join to our starting chain. And because the next round is the last round, we're only going to do a chain three. And the place is stitch marker. Alright, we've made it to round nine, so this will be the last round for each color. We need to get our A color back on our hook to start. Okay. Do a back stitch. Two fronts. I'll do backs to the corner. So here's one, two, three, four backs, and then a front corner. Four backs, Two front, one back, two front, one back. Two front, four back, corner, and four backs,
different two back oh sorry one back two front one back Two front, four back, one front. Sorry, when I said one front, I meant front corner. All right, um, four back. Two front, one back, two front, one back, two front. Sorry, four back. I think it's getting late. I keep saying the wrong numbers. Front corner. Four back. Two front, one back, one front, and we need our B color to start in front. We'll join to our starting chain, but this is our last row with this color, so we can just cut this color and finish it off here. And get B color back on our hook. Okay, the last row works a little bit differently. Instead of having a chain one in between each double crochet, we're going to work a back loop single crochet in the double crochet of the opposite color. This joins the two colors and makes a nice even edge so that we don't have kind of flopping yarns. So that's why we only did a chain three instead of a chain four because we only need the length of a double crochet. So I'm going to do a back loop single crochet in this A color stitch. And now we're still going to follow the pattern about whether we do front versus back double crochets for our B color. So we need the next one to be a front double crochet. But I'm not going to chain one. Instead I'm going to do a back loop single crochet in my A color stitch. I need one more front stitch and a back loop single crochet. Now I need a back stitch. So the front versus back is just the same. You're following the pattern for that. No, no chain and a back loop single crochet 
and my A color. Now a front stitch. And a back loop single. Back stitch. And a back loop single. Another back stitch. And a back loop single. And one more back stitch. A back loop single. Now a front stitch. And a back loop single. And I'll, remember, all of those back loop single crochets are worked in the tops of the double crochets of the A color. Now for the corners, they're a little bit different also. So we're supposed to be doing a back corner. It's going to look a little bit different. So we're going to work five stitches over this corner. The first one is going to be a back double crochet. Now we're going to work a back loop single crochet in the second stitch of the A color turn chain. Now another back double crochet around our gray bar. Now a back loop single crochet in the fourth stitch of our A turn chain. And one more back double crochet around the A, uh, sorry, B color bar. So I've got five stitches across that corner. Back double, back loop single, back double, back loop single, back double. And now we'll keep going. We need a back loop single in the top of this double crochet. Then we need a front stitch in our B color. Back loop single crochet. Now we need a back stitch. Back loop single. Oops. Back stitch. Back loop single. One more back stitch, and a back loop single, front stitch, and a back loop single, a back stitch, Oops. and a back loop single. The next five stitches for B color are going to be worked from the front. So that front, back loop single, front, back loop single, front, back loop single, front. Back loop single, and one more, front stitch, and a back loop single, now a back stitch, and a back loop single, a front stitch, and a back loop single. Three, the next three are going to be worked from the back. So I'm still always doing back loop single crochets whenever I've got a double crochet of the other color. Now a front with my B color, back loop single. And now we're at another corner. I'm going to do the same thing, five stitches here. So back double crochet, back loop single in the second chain, back double, back loop single in the fourth chain, and one more back double. Then we keep going, we've got a back loop single, now a front stitch, again, always working back loop. The next three B color will be from the back. And one 
coming from the front. One from the back. The next five are from the front. One from the back. One from the front. The next three are from the back. One from the front, another corner, we'll do a back double, back loop single in the second chain, back double, back loop single in the fourth chain, back loop double, Back loop single, and keep going, we need a front. The next three are from the back. One from the front. One from the back. The next five from the front. One from the back. One from the front. The next three from the back. One from the front. And now our corner, last corner. A back double, back loop single in the second chain, back double, back loop single in the fourth chain, back double, and a back loop single in this double crochet so we can keep going. And one from the front. Three from the back.
one from the front. One from the back. And the last two from the front. Oops. Oh, I made a mistake. I started going back to regular and doing my chains in between instead of doing my back loop. Single crochets. Okay. So, one from the back here. It's so hard to break that habit sometimes. Okay, back loop, single crochet. And two from the front to finish this side. And then I'm going to cut this yarn. And I will do an invisible join here. I'm going to stick my hook in my turn chain through both loops. Grab my yarn, pull it through both of those loops, and then come back up this stitch that it came out of and pull my yarn down. So it looks just like a nice chain on the edge here. And then I'll weave those ends in. So that is the November square in all of its glory. We've got one more square this year, the December square, and then I will show you how I joined them and did a border.